Hey everybody, this is Sonny Sofrito from Yep, I Like Wrestling. Uh, last Wednesday, Tara, Teddy, and I recorded episode 9 using a special app since it was snowing like crazy outside where we did it from each other's house. Unfortunately, due to technical difficulties, we had to scrap it. Fortunately, Teddy and I recorded a brand new bonus episode with our new friend, Lucy T. Lucy is the WWE correspondent for AOL and Yahoo Sports. So this is a chance for you to get to know someone else that's going to be joining us in our podcast family. And uh, we hope you enjoy this episode. And next week, we will be back with Tara for a brand new episode. So uh, sit back and listen and hope you enjoy. Take care and see you soon. And now on to the episode. Greetings from Parts Unknown. Guess what? We're back with another episode joined by... Sonny, go say it. The greatest general manager ever. Say it. <laughs> Just say the it. The self-proclaimed oh, general manager. Let's get this straight. You call yourself a general manager. I didn't call you a general manager. Everyone calls me the general manager. Well, you say it enough in times. In my head. Well, All the did. voices in my head call me the general manager. Just tell me who this lovely lady is on my right, please. Well, today, <laughs> we, well, in this installment, we are joined by Lucy T from AOL and Yahoo Sports who is the... She is the... She's the WWE guru. I am the WWE expert oh. for Build Series NYC, and I also work at Yahoo Sports, Ooh. and I have a YouTube channel called Lucy T WWE, where I have these crazy weekly reviews filled with impressions of Paul Heyman. Oh. You should check it out. I got some the good advocate. feedback on the last one. The <laughs> I can tell you that this is Yep approved and Sofrito approved, so you definitely got to check out her, her YouTube channel. She's really cool people. Also, Teddy approved. Thank you yeah. know I like pretty girls. You keep bringing me these pretty Thanks, girls, Sonny. Guys. This is the, yeah. This is how he pays me with pretty women. <laughs> Shout out to Tara Alex. Who, 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 who the sensational thought, one. Who would have thought the people in Newark would find that out? Yeah, you know, <laughs> this is the only time I like to sit next to a pretty woman. It's on these podcasts. So yeah, Thank you so much. You're very easy on the eyes with your leather jacket. So, yes. My Tarjay leather jacket. Oh, honey. It's Gorgeous. Sonny, what are we doing here? I feel like we've done this twice in the same week. What is this, sex, really? <laughs> wow, I, you have a lot of sex. I, I, <laughs> tell twice me about in a it. Week. And Jesus. sometimes I'm even awake for it. But I felt that we just Ooh. did this yeah, sometimes, not all the time. I like to be asleep. But that's, yeah. we'll talk about that later. Me, I'm like, don't wake me. There, there's, that's where I am. Just come to me when my you're sleep. done. Yes, thank you. There is something very disturbed about you. You know that, right? No. Yeah. I'm in a quiet taste. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Ask anyone who's like, like put me in their mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am not poison. I'm in a quiet taste. I am in a quiet taste. And if you taste. don't like me, then acquire some you taste. You know, thank you. Oh, wow. Smell. I'm English. Everything good comes out of my mouth. Yes. Sonny, what uh, are we doing here? So today we're actually just uh, hanging out with Lucy. Um, this has been a certain amount of time coming that we've been uh, chatting and talking about connecting and, yep. and and saying what's up because uh lucy follows us we follow lucy and lucy posts some really cool stuff on instagram and she's always giving us love on instagram too so is well, well. so how does a pretty girl like you know about the dirty business of wwe exactly yeah tell us about yourself <laughs> Well, um, you know, like everyone and their mom, I think, uh, you know, when I was a kid, I watched WWE with my brother. It was the one thing, actually, that I would do with him where he would actually give me the time of day. Yep. Um, and I remember wanting Stone Cold Steve Austin uh, to be my dad. The rattlesnake. Yeah, I really wanted him to be my dad. I think we started watching it. We were in the Keys or something, and it was pouring rain, and we had nothing to do but sit inside and watch TV. Stone and calls. WWF was on, and we just started watching it. And I, on a side note, I always wanted Deborah to be my mom, but like my uh, sugar mom. Uh. <laughs> but I'm just that's just like you know, her, you know, just different tangent. But um, be some good parents. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> um, no, no, Stone Cold wouldn't be there. No, it, it would be it would, <laughs> it would be like be a you. totally different. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, um, I feel a breastfeeding joke coming on. Please continue. <laughs> Please continue, Lucy. Don't mind him. Well, speaking of breastfeeding, uh. um, then I. I was probably first or second grade, and then I started just getting into Hanson. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the shortest podcast ever, so no, this was fun. Listening. This was Man, fun. You got, you got into Manson. Hanson, no, with an H. H. Oh, oh, oh. She's mm bopping her way right out this oh, podcast, Oh, ooh, <laughs> Really? You know, the three little girls with blonde hair. Hanson. 
There was one girl. It was right? basically just three of me, yeah. Yeah. Was, three so, little girls with so blonde did, hair. So there's four? Yeah. Was <laughs> four handsome girls. Then it became the Jonas sisters. I could be... Am I confused? I I'm think, high, don't mind me. Yeah, general general manager. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, you don't have to be sober to do this job. No, so, yeah. you don't. <laughs> Uh, so you like Stone Cold. So you are you're an Attitude Era girl. I, as I am. Oh, the greatest era of uh, wrestling. I am. I am an Attitude Era girl. But you know, I stopped watching it. I think when they started doing those really weird uh, hosts in like oh, the two thousands on oh, Raw, yeah. you'd have like hosts that had no idea what they were doing Jewel, and talking about. Yes. You like Jewel. yeah. Ugh. Jewel hosted Monday Night Raw. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Go back on the network and watch Jewel on crutches. It, 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 yeah, I don't know what that was about. Yeah. Pee Wee Herman hosted. Betty White hosted. Bob Barker. Bob Barker. That was actually hosted. a good one. I actually like Bob Barker though. Yeah. Yeah. That that was a good one. He had IRS on the the the, the he did oh, a game show on, on, with on IRS. That's right. And that's Jericho. Right. And Jericho. He, he had does. a good relationship with Jericho. Yeah. He, he did he beat Jericho? Yes. Yes, he did. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, that was definitely um, fun. Yeah, and so then now you're back into wrestling. And now what I'm back into in? wrestling. My husband got me back into wrestling. Ah, yes. Um, we live uh, over by the Barclays Center, and shout out to Brooklyn. Yes, shout out to Brooklyn, indeed. Shout um, out to hubby. Who, and shout out to hubby, who who happens to be a long-standing member of the Yep I Like yes. Wrestling. Yes. Yes, he does. Even better, I hear your husband's English, so he that is. makes some aces in my book. He's an Essex shout boy. Shout out to a fellow countryman right there. <laughs> Gonna class up this joint, whether you like it or not, Sonny. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I love Brooklyn. I've done some of my best work under the Brooklyn Bridge. But please oh, continue. I've, I digress. That's for a different podcast. It yeah, is. That's, that's for a, an after midnight that, that's, podcast. That's a very different podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, and so then I got us tickets, and he was like, "Well, why don't you start watching it with me, so you're not like so fucking bored when we're there, and you actually know what's going on." So then we started rewatching it again, and then I got really into it. And he was like, "Oh my god, I've created a monster!" And now I've got like Dean Ambrose cardboard cutouts Ooh. and all the action figures, and I'm obsessed with it. And um, at AOL, when they asked me to start doing the celebrity interviews for a build series, and they were like, "Oh, so what kind of stuff are you into that we should say for you?" And you know, saying what I thought I should say as a woman, I said. Anything, I guess, that's like fashion and beauty oh, and like yes. women's comedy or lifestyle. Wow, you went and there. they were like, um, okay. And then I walked away and I was like, you know what? Now that Total Divas is kind of a thing, like there might be a chance that oh. some of the female superstars might be coming to build. And I will be so mad at myself if someone comes in from the WWE and it's my own fault because I never said anything. So I ran back to the producers and I was like, also anything WWE related. And that's why we're celebrating International Women's Day today. Yes. yes. Celebrating today a female Day. in wrestling. Shout yes. out to all the ladies out there. And all our female uh, podcast hosts. You know, I love you all. Yes, love to all of you. I'm liking the one next to me, too. Oh, shout out to doll. Shout out to Tara, Chrissy, Alex, who I haven't seen you in a minute. And now to Lucy. And now to me. Thanks, guys. So, quick question. Yes. Before Sonny realizes what I'm about to say. Oh, well, gosh. Okay. Tell me one WWE superstar, if your husband gives you a hall pass. Dean Ambrose. Go, really? Yeah. Yes. She didn't even let you Re ask the question. Actually, I couldn't I get it out of my mouth. I have a cardboard cut out of him in my fucking but bedroom. You, you want to bang Dean oh Ambrose? Oh, my God. So really? bad. Really? Yes. No, no Roman, no. No, no. Roman, no. Easy with Here's the facial expressions. <laughs> no Roman. It yes, was, yes, we got confidence. You know, you know why I love Dean Ambrose. I don't know. You tell me. Because his hair is dry. Interesting. <laughs> Please continue. Just let that settle yeah. in for a minute. You he know what? That's that's a pause that I normally would just you know no. delete when I edit this, but that's not going anywhere. He <laughs> doesn't. It's like okay. Well, first of all, I read this one fact of Dean Ambrose that. He once called Vince McMahon for weeks trying to pitch him just sitting in the middle of the ring eating an entire bowl of mashed potatoes for 30 minutes with zero context. <laughs> and this is what turned you on at night. And yes. This, and this is your mashed whole past. Really? Yeah. And you know what? We actually were in a bar with him, but... Did you? WrestleMania, no. No? No, I was oh, just you're like... you're such a good wife. I, I was just like... <laughs> 
uh, uh, he was, I, I mean, he was I, wait, with Renee. Good, good wife or just starstruck that you just couldn't think of doing it at the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he was with Renee and Lita, and I was like, I'm not going to oh, please. I'm not gonna Humpty stroll and Dumpty, on over you'd there. Been fine. You'd have been fine with Humpty and Dumpty sitting there. I'd be like, hey, guys. <laughs> Lita looking like everyone's favorite lesbian and Renee looking like a crack whore. You'd have done just fine. Aww. Okay, You'd have done just fine, darling. Don't worry. But I mean, if, if, if you don't, if you wouldn't went up to Renee, she would have just started the conversation with, so. so <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, but yeah, Dean Ambrose. And uh, also, he wrestles in jeans. He does. Which I also read that when he someone asked him, like, dude, what's with the jeans? <laughs> he was just like, well, I don't know. I'm like a street man. So if you get into, like, a bar brawl, you're not going to be like, hold on. Let me take off my pants. That's true. That's true. Um, I don't unless, know, unless you're at one of the bars that said he frequents. I was going to say, well, I mean, yeah. maybe you. Maybe you would. Well, no, know. you walk in without the pants at the bars oh, that okay. I go to. But yeah, okay, yeah, I can sort of see. So, okay, I don't know. I just think he's funny, and I miss him. The lunatic fringe. The well, lunatic right. fringe. Give me some of the dirty deeds, oh. and I'll just wonder. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Oh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I do like my D dirty. But anywho, <laughs> no, I love. So are you excited for WrestleMania? I am so excited for WrestleMania. Really? Because I'm not. No? So why, no. Why are you not excited? I was just telling Sony yesterday, it just feels like a big fuster cluck. Like, yeah. everyone and their mother's going to be on this WrestleMania. I just want everyone to just be thrown into a ditch and let them fight their way out. Like, I feel everything is going to be a three-way, four-man, five-way. Right, like, right, right, right. Six-pack challenge. Six-pack challenge. Sixteen-man. Yeah. As fun as that sounds. But no, I don't want it on my WrestleMania. Like, Going yeah. one-on-one with the Undertaker. Shout out to Teddy Long right there. So, <laughs> hala, hala. So you're happy yeah. about WrestleMania. I am. I'm excited. I mean... I'm always excited when there's a big tentpole event, just because it's also for me not just about the the matches themselves, but about like the wrestling community and like all getting excited together. And maybe we get excited about like hating the pay per view, but guess what? That's, That's still true. something that I can get excited about. You ever been to a WrestleMania? Yes, I we went last year to Wait. Orlando. Oh, nice. Get out. How big yeah. was that pop when the Hardys came out? You tell me. Oh my was god! It big? Well, I was hurting that time. <laughs> Why you so. gonna, the way you just said that? Yeah, I know. I, I, I know. I heard it <laughs> when it came up. If only you could see his mouth. eyes. Oh, yeah, he said that all. Yeah. <laughs> his eyes were big, bigger than the pop. And with that said, welcome to this podcast. <laughs> Please continue. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it was. So you were it in was the unreal. house. Honest question: How long did it take Nia to get to the ring? Because I know it had to have been at least eighteen minutes. She's a no. Yeah, it, that was a long. You know rap. what I will say about Nia at WrestleMania is after she lost. So where we were sitting was like by the ramp that the performers would actually leave down. Like okay. they would start walking up the ramp for the cameras, but then they would go back that down this did, like yeah. other way. And so that's where we were sitting, and someone fucking cat called Nia Jax. That's a brave soul. Like, yeah. I was like, are you joking? You, you're going to, oh, oh, I was like, what are you doing? Come on, Naya, give us a smile. And oh my gosh, I, her eyes, she was just like, it was bad. It was really bad. Like, who the fuck cat calls Naya Jax? A no, I was soul. impressed with those acting chops this week. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I enjoyed it, too. With uh, Alexa Bliss's uh, yeah. Jim Jones speech. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, Alexa Bliss. I mean, her her spiel is all the same all the time, but I thought Nia Jax. I was like, she I wonder where that's been. That. She did cry. I mean, I was in tears yeah. myself. I, yeah. I thought and Alexa was going to hand her the razor. Like, go ahead, girl, take this razor and just finish <laughs> off. Because like Heather's all over again. <laughs> but you, like Mean Girls, Jawbreakers. Yeah, yeah, but you could see, like, her reaction forming in her brain. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Oh yeah, no. You yeah. can see um, it on her face. You, you can see the acting, and and it, it was hard. I I thought Alexa kind of cheapened up almost that segment because she has the same tone all the time mm. when she does her sarcasm, when she does, and it was the same thing. But Naya, oh my gosh, so props. You are a woman in a basically male-oriented business. Really? Yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> you know, wrestling is normally men. Yes. Um. How do you think this whole Divas Revolution's going? Are you happy about it? You, I know you jumped in three years ago, but you don't know that there was a time where women weren't really on Raw for more than three minutes. Oh, yes. Give Diva so the chance, the panty matches. Exactly. Yeah. And I mean, to be quite honest, maybe a few years ago, she wouldn't have been the WWE girl for Yahoo and Oh, AOL. no, no, not at all. So no, how I are you feeling know. about this? You know, women, it's, it's women's time. What do you think right now? I mean, I, I'm loving it. Really? I have to say. Um, 
every chance I get whenever one of my girlfriends is like, what, you watch WWE? Like, isn't that like so demeaning towards women? And like, and I think that the women's division now has just taken off in the level of professionalism, the level of athleticism is just, to me, stunning. And especially compared to Exactly, like, and no offense, but like to Stacey Keebler, like stripping for Vince McMahon. And Shout out to the Duchess of Dudleyville. <laughs> oh, I miss Stacey. But also like P.S., remember she dated George fucking Clooney. That's true. Like that, like that's that's kind of crazy. Um, and uh, I, I just. Is it true you met Lana? Is that true? Yeah, I interviewed Lana Did she twice. smell good? Because she looks like someone who smells good. Did you yes. lick her? Because I would have licked her. I did not lick her. I did not lick that. Lana. She is so, so, so nice. She's so down to earth. She was, was she my Russian first or interview. Russian or American? Did she decide when she got there? No, but you know what? It was interesting that you say that because my first interview with her um, was before that season of Total Divas premiered. So she was really nervous because nobody had really seen CJ. True. Because she kind of still had the Russian gimmick, which, yeah, she still does now on WWE, but she was really nervous about that. And I was kind of apprehensive as well. Like, do I call you Lana? Do I call you CJ? Like, are we saying you're from Russia or you're from Nashville? Like, well, yeah. you know, her 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 background is kind of interesting. Cause, it's so interesting. Because I, cause I, I looked her up. Yeah. Um, first time I saw her. Yeah, I looked her up. Yeah, we're so surprised about that, Sonny. <laughs> so, so, like, she's, like, half Venezuelan and half, like, Brazilian, I think, or something like that. No, she, she's actually, she is actually Russian. No, I know, but, oh. but her but her parents were missionaries. They were missionaries. In Russia. In Russia, yep. They were what? They're, anyway. I'm sorry, I, I didn't miss that last part. What were they? No, 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 you, you heard it. No, I so, didn't. Damn. They, they were. I was trying to get them to say missionary one more time. <laughs> so, they, so they were, they were those in Russia. <laughs> yeah. And and that's how she was born and raised in Russia. So that's why her 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 accent is flawless. It's and everything. part of her. But but like I'm such a mark for anytime I find out that somebody is like either half or all Latino because I'm just like oh wait she's she's part Latina oh all right cool and well, then that's I'll, where she gets the booty. Oh yes, I mean yes, she's, yes she does. Yes, she's got some junk. I'm yes. sorry, I'm sorry for my overexcitement. Uh huh. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> just relax. Jesus. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to be. No I'm trying to be a little. No, sorry. Trying, hey, my name is Enzo. Chill. Oh, shout out to Enzo. Hey, Enzo, how you doing? Uh, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> Not too good. But <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, yeah. I think her Russian gimmick was so dead on, she should have kayfabed it and always been Russian. The fact that she was Russian on TV and then American on Total Divas, which, mm. by the way, is like going to an STD clinic. I hate Total Divas. You do? Yeah, it's like you have to do it but you don't want to. Like, no one wants to mm. go to the STD clinic, right. but you know you have to because right. of what you did at Spring Break. Yeah. <sighs> Shout out to Spring Break. Oh, God. Woo! Shout out to Ric Flair. All right. Also that, yeah. yeah. That was so anyway, Ric Flair slash I mean, Spring Break. Woo-hoo. So me um, next month, when Spring Break begins, uh, we'll be having a replacement for Teddy because I don't know where he's probably going to be at. Can we do the <laughs> podcast oh. live? From spring break. Hell hey. no, not with you, no. Come on, man. <laughs> no, nah, oh man, I, I, no. Come on. You probably just, just no, no. Thousands that, of half naked drunk people and Teddy. Come on, man. It sells itself. Like crystal myth. Okay, I'll think about it. <laughs> Shout out to Renee Young again. So, anywho. <laughs> So yeah, it reminds me of back in the day where there were no women on television or yeah. they were only eye candy. Yeah. It was the whole like Terry Reynolds, you yeah. know, yeah. women were just icing to a male cake. Yeah. Now they have two segments, every Raw, every SmackDown. They're actually fighting. No more bra and panties matches, as much as I do love a good bra and panties match. Sometimes Sh even better than the men, because there have been times where they were, that their matches are 10 times yes. better. Than Charlotte's someone. WrestleMania match eclipsed quite a few of the, her yeah. male counterparts. Yeah, so without question. Time has is, time is changed. Time like, has really changed. And I have to say, though, I do get frustrated when, um, what was it, when... When Absolution Riot Squad debuted a few months ago now, yeah, it, it was the exact same thing every single night on Raw and on SmackDown, and I do get kind of frustrated sometimes when the, essentially the writers just it was copy and paste. Just copy exactly. They just yeah. copy and paste, and or when we get oh, there's a brawl breaking out in the center of the ring, so now let's just have a 
12 woman tag match and then boom the women are done all right what else we got so there is still i think some of that but i mean i think the first thing is you know when steph announced that they were just gonna be called superstars and not divas and that's something also that it, at work um every time we interview any of the female superstars i mean the pr people that come with them just make sure that there's no literature no social promotion that says the word divas they're oh, wow. very, that's, very, that, very that, serious about that. Well, that, that's that's amazing. I mean, especially with the fact that, you know, they took so much time to actually brand the the word divas for so long. Yeah. And now they're it's almost like being anti diva. Yes. I mean, which is in a way it's kinda hard because they still have the show called Total Divas. Right. But I mean, I guess there's it's it's you know, it's it's dealt with in layers, you know. It's like, well we could do it this way, but we can't do it like this. Yeah, you know, but uh, it can't be. They can't change the title from Total Divas to Total Women, <laughs> because then Seth Actually, Rollins would have to join the cast. So Seth yeah. Rollins? Yeah, that greasy queen. <laughs> yeah. We hate him on this podcast. No, so no, 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 no. Yes, you we hate do. Him. We you do. hate him. We hate a greasy queen. You greasy hate him. Queen. Speaking Yo, of he greasy calls queen. him a greasy queen all the oh, time. He's a greasy queen. I just the grease. Why the grease? Every time he comes on the screen, I'm hearing Greasy Queen he's, in my head. He's a big old Crisco queen. Like, you look at him. But Roman's Greasy, too. And again, this podcast ended. See how quick that happens, Sonny? <laughs> she can't is. stay. I'm she, sorry, see, he is. See, that's why... A little high five? High five. <laughs> I'll try to get it on the mic. So, if you, two, if you two are done with this clan rally, can we just... Oh! Say, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. So, just because Roman's darker, you think I didn't pick up on that little undertone? What? Yeah. So, hey, hey. You are crazy. Ooh, I could be saying that you're prejudiced against Latinos because, you know, Colby Lopez is... I am a little prejudiced against Latinos. I am. Yeah. I am. <laughs> Tell yeah. us how you really feel. But Speedy Gonzalez Jesus. was my favorite cartoon character, so I can't be that racist. Happy Rusev Day. Jesus Christ, dude, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't like that whole Roman comment just now. Like, I'm a little salty now. Like, <laughs> I see. No, but, like, just from, like, a physical perspective, they are both greasy. No. They both S drip when no. they come onto the ramp. I love the word drip. I, You know what? I get, I get nervous for the other superstars that they're going to slip. Or slide um, out of the ring, like, like, yeah, like, just, or even when they come down the ramp, like, well, I'm like, Seth watch Rollins out. Seth Rollins has killed three superstars with his grease. <laughs> he knew, he killed Sting. He, has, he hasn't seen, killed them. I haven't seen Sting <laughs> since ever. He was, he was, he, he was nearly just killed recently. Finn Balor. He's killed Jason Jordan because he's so greasy. He just people just slide right <laughs> off of him. You know, he just slides. He's just one of those. Greasy. I do love a good slip and slide. Well. Ugh. I just can't deal with it. I like my queens dry. I don't like, like Dean queen. Ambrose. No, but Dean isn't a oh. queen. Dean is oh, a very happy yes. heterosexual. Seth he is Rollins very is heterosexual. Suspect. suspect. So in other words, you know, you like your queens dry like Roman. See, we're not doing this, Sonny. We're not <laughs> doing this. Shout out to Roman if you're listening. I'm okay, gonna but also, you. can worry. I say one more thing about Roman Reigns? Sure, go ahead. You have all. All, I'm just know two our, very French, different our friendship looks. is on the line. I will it's turn. As a matter of fact, I'll, I'll, don't worry about. It. What I'll do is I'll turn off the other mics and you go crazy. <laughs> no, no, it's not even like a rant or anything. All right, I see you shifting in your chair. It's not even a rant or anything, but it's literally just a fact. Why does he have? No, and maybe like as a Roman fan, you can tell. You can answer. This is your platform, right? Yes, I'm listening. Uh, I'm listening. To Why does he have the same gear and the same theme song? entrance music whatever as the shield like literally like it's the same song without the <laughs> Sierra India whatever like hotel whatever all those words are and then it's the same <laughs> Donna 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 it's the same song as a shield it's like why don't you have your own music why are you still wearing those combat like it's like a old NFL player that like still sleeps in his jersey thinking that like I don't know the team's gonna like call him back up Cue the shout out to Tara, who's always talking about us talking about the you know character change and all this other. You see, it's not just me and Teddy. Lucy just brought it up right now herself in a much more eloquent way than we did in the past. <laughs> so yes, but it's see? just a fact. Like he it has is a fact. the same thing. Like which is also like John Cena has the exact same thing that he has had. Like I mean, are those jorts like have those jorts ever been washed? I mean, yeah, I'm going to tell you right now. The the craziest thing is that there was a uh, uh sometime back he had he he wanted to turn heel and he actually went and he was he got like the preliminary go ahead. 
and he went out and spent like five thousand dollars on robes and a whole bunch of different gear and then they deaded it i think it was because i think it was actually because of kmart because of all the the merchandise that he sells oh, and shit. and he basically was like shit i can't use this gear he ended up donating it to uh some school that he's he does some stuff with and just gave the gear away but it was like damn we almost got like a really cool heel mm-hmm. turn and it, i would say it was, it's with it was within the past four or five years it there was a it was a another wrestler that was talking about it that it was something that they would do that uh that you know how John Cena had donated this all this gear and and the reason behind it, but I mean, imagine if we would have gotten a real heel turn. Ugh. Doesn't even need to be a heel turn, just a character change. Something different. Yeah, yeah, a character change because because that's the problem is the character change. It would it would definitely help. Yeah, and it's just they you know they just didn't want to do it. Yeah. So. But, but yeah, anyway, that those are my main thoughts on Roman. And that's a See, fact. See, that wasn't so bad. No, You're still was, alive. It was terrible. <laughs> and that was a fact on Roman. I mean, um, so yeah. It's just so, facts. <laughs> facts machine. But um, you know, going back to the stuff that you're doing now, which is really, really interesting with with uh, AOL and Yahoo Sports, and that you're covering WWE, mm-hmm. it just kind of makes me think about how. WWE is being covered now yeah. by so many different media outlets that I would say even going back as maybe five years ago wouldn't have even touched yeah. WWE. So I mean it's it's definitely a, a change of the times oh, yes. that that's very interesting. Because like now that I see ESPN covering WWE. Oh yeah, ESPN and WWE have a huge, huge deal. Yeah. CBS Sports. Yep. Um Bleacher, Bleacher Report. Bleacher Report. Yes. What culture, which is a really big pop culture and comic book type of fandom site, mm-hmm. um, even Forbes, Forbes, which is a money magazine, is covering WWE. I mean, yeah. some of the best articles I've found on wrestling in general have been on Forbes because they have some really good writers. You know, there are so many instances that, you know, how do you, as a as a wrestling fan, is this something that makes you feel good or feel a little weird about? Especially since, you know, wrestling was kind of like our thing as wrestling fans to now see that it's it's covered on such a commercial level. I, I think it's a good thing. I'm not the kind of, per- you know, I know that there's two very different types of wrestling fans, right? There's like wrestling fans who are like, you know, so- someone at, um, at the Royal Rumble when I was getting like a soda or something asked me... Uh, you're not a wrestling fan. You don't look like a wrestling fan. If you're a wrestling fan, when is Michelle McCool's birthday? What? And I'm like, <laughs> that's um, one of the okay. stupidest things ever. <laughs> if you're, if the so, per, so the person that said that to you, if you're listening to this, you're a moron. So yeah, so there's those, you know, and 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 I I like would love if some of my friends started watching it, and I'm not gonna start being like, oh well, you don't know all of these fat like, you know, I yeah. it's something that I enjoy. It's something that gives me joy. And why not, like, have it be something that's more accessible and more easily accessible? And I, I'm i not going to have an attitude of, like, you know, you know, when you're, like, doing your – or you're writing a test and you have your arm covering the paper. Like, don't copy me. You know, it's, yeah, yeah. it's a public thing. And I think it's – I mean, at the end of the day, like, we have to remind ourselves it's entertainment. Exactly. It's and sports entertainment. So you wouldn't be like, oh, my God, you, 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 you can't watch The Godfather 2. Yeah. I, I've, I'm the one who watches The Godfather. You know, it, it's it's silly. And um, and if anything, I think it's, like you said, you've read some of the best articles about WWE on Forbes. Which is so weird. You yeah. You know, that, that, you're, that I'm reading something like that on a, on a, on a, because it was on their website, you know, but it's a magazine website that's for money. Yeah. And they've had some of the most in-depth articles on the business that make me go, wow, this is amazing. And then it also gives you another look through a different lens. Yeah, mm-hmm. without question. That, like you would probably never have gotten if it wasn't such a, you know, multi-billion dollar corporation that it is now. And I think social media has a lot to do with that. Um, yeah, now well, the, val- that- the value of followers. So <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, and, they, and they're be- them being so strong with, you know, Twitter and Facebook and well, especially more more so Twitter than anything else. And then now, 
going into Facebook with their Facebook matches, their Instagram, and you know, just on a different side note, something that I have read, so you know, fairly recently. Yep. When they break down the demographic on users for different different parts of social media, Twitter is considered one of the higher higher ends of the followers. You know, as far as they tend to be, you know, that spend a little bit more. People that use Twitter on a regular basis. Mm. So if you're using, you know, a social media heavy that people tend to flock more to that are spending more, that that, that makes you more attractive to advertisers who are going to spend money on your brand who just is going to bring other money in and yep. it's, just, it's just a whole business aspect of it that that a lot of people probably don't even realize yeah totally and and i think um a lot of outlets are covering it now it just because of the sheer numbers i think if, if anything i think it's great because guess what now wwe is starting to be taken seriously as an interest and as a hobby and as a passion and it's no longer just, oh, LOL, you're watching, like, you know, bra and panty matches. Like, oh, wow, you're a WWE fan. Cool. Me too. Or, cool, tell me a little bit a little bit about that. Or, you know. So it's almost like helping, in my opinion, it's helping to, like, legitimize it. And not be such a, um, not, not be something with such a stigma and such an underground, like, and I'm sorry, that might piss some people off. I know some, some wrestling fans enjoy kind of hogging it and alienating other people from it, but I, I don't see it that way. And and like you were saying before, you know, at the end of the day, it's a business, right? So if it weren't for the growing popularity in mainstream culture, the WWE would not have the money it has now to create even more original content that we all love and watch every week. Exactly. Even though we could possibly do without any more of uh, Edge and Christian doing something on the, ne the oh, network. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or um, I, I really, I haven't watched it, but I have no interest in watching Ride Along. Or, But I do want some more D Camp WWE. Camp WWE. I was just going to say, have you ever seen Camp <laughs> WWE? <gasps> oh, my God. We talked about it on the last episode. Oh, I love Camp WWE. That was so It's awesome. so good. If oh, my you, God. If, if Stone you, Cold and yeah. Vince and then Triple H as he's, like, in love with Vince. Oh, my yeah, everyone please go watch Camp WWE. So, like, yeah, everything that's been going on with uh, the, the WWE <clears throat> Network is just, you know, there's, there's so much really cool stuff. and it's So much. Yeah, exactly. And and it's funny because, like, it kind of takes me back to what you're doing now. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's so interesting that, you know, it's going hand in hand. They're feeding off of each other. It's like they're creating content. AWOL Yahoo Sports yep. is covering it. So it's almost as if it's going hand in hand. You know, they're creating stuff. You guys are covering it. You know, where do you see AOL and Yahoo Sports going from from here on out in, in the continued coverage? That's a really good question. Um, so it's funny, actually, I'm, I've been trying to get to get AOL to get like Stephanie McMahon back in to build to interview her before WrestleMania. Um, and it's a little more difficult on the AOL side, I would say, as opposed to the Yahoo Sports side. So we'll see what we've got a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline for WrestleMania, but uh, we do a lot of really fun interviews for Yahoo Sports. But at Lucy TWWE and my YouTube channel, uh, you know, I'm always trying to keep the content fresh. So uh, I'm going to start. I did a little poll on my Instagram, and the response was overwhelming. So anyway, so I'm going to be doing a new uh, new weekly series where I review some of the original programming oh, that on sounds WWE cool. Network because there is so much. So I want to try to help people figure out like what's worth a watch, what is not worth a watch. <coughs> Edge Christian. Um, yeah, yeah. Geez. Awesomeness. <coughs> You're right. <laughs> so uh, I actually watched the uh, new Corey Graves show the other day. Uh, what's it called? Uh, setting the record straight. Oh, okay, cool. And he was interviewing Enzo. <gasps> <laughs> and it was the most cringe-worthy, <laughs> but also glorious 15 minutes of my life. So, little sneak preview of my WWE Network series review. Go watch that episode. So, was it cringe-worthy? Like, so was he still a part of the roster when when you watched it? Yes. Okay. So this was, was it in the this was the end of January. So this was like right before the pimple popped. All right. So is it cringe-worthy at the time, or even more cringe-worthy now? All of the above. All really? of the above. So it was cringe-worthy. He's just sitting there eating an apple, and he's getting 
apple juice all over Corey Graves' face. It's like so awkward. He won't take his sunglasses off. Corey Graves is basically, he can't interview him because he won't answer anything. So Corey Graves just the whole time is like, okay, how about this? I'll state a rumor and then you can tell me what you think about that rumor. Oh, my God. And then apparently there was, like, some other feud between Corey Graves and Enzo where he called him, like, a bad dad and all this other Twitter bullshit. So then he started calling him out again. It was just, like, kind of pure gold. And he stormed off through the apple. And then knowing everything that has happened in the past few weeks, months, it just makes it even more, like, oh, my God. And then the whole time, Corey Graves' face is just like that emoji. I don't even know what it's called. You know. Oh yeah. Uh, What's that emoji? <laughs> the awkward smile, like <laughs> emoji. Oh, That's just Corey Graves the entire time. Oh man, I am gonna watch that shit tonight with some. <laughs> with, with, oh, well, with, you with don't a, even need it. With, no, no, a fucking no, apple. No, 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 no. I'm actually gonna watch it. You know how like you watch something enjoyable with a nice drink. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do tonight. Yeah. <laughs> like a fifty dollar bottle of whiskey or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some. I got some Glen <laughs> And be like, yo, I'm a straight J. Wow, that's that's going to be an, an amazing uh, show. I got to definitely check it out. What we're going to do on our YouTube channel is we're actually going to add that to our, this is the stuff that we, yep, this is stuff we like playlist, as well as uh, Lucy's going to be featured as one of the, the subscriptions that we're subscribed to. And to you, the listener, make sure you subscribe to this podcast, as well as to our YouTube account, so that you could definitely check out everything that we've been, we've been doing like yep on the street our youtube channel is youtube.com slash y-e-p-i-l-w and our soundcloud account is soundcloud.com slash y-e-p-i-l-w we're also available on all podcast platforms like itunes google play stitcher tune in everywhere and smoke signals <laughs> we're like the russian prostitute we're everywhere shout out to melania trump oh the first lady takes it uh. on the chin I want to thank you, Lucy, for joining us today. Thank you guys so much for having me. Oh, it's good having you. <laughs> well, you haven't had me yet. Oh, dear. <laughs> hey, Sean, how are you? You see, you see, the funny thing is that Teddy could say that. If I said it, it would have been... Sexual harassment. Yes. Speaking of Enzo Amore. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag no means no. Yes. Don't want that segue. Ends no. <laughs> <laughs> Ends no. I like that one. It was a good one. <laughs> wow. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what? You're officially family. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to be a wrap for today's installment. My name is Sonny Sofrito. I am the general manager of EFI Like Wrestling. And I am Lucy T of Lucy T WWE. Thank you for listening. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>